Hello friends, in this short video we will discuss how to calculate the cut and fill earthwork volume through earthwork plan production command used in AutoCAD CV3. Let us start. Uh, I have created a file with project 2.80 title where I will include here the OGL file surface. So to create surface, add the points to the surface. Let us make the OGA original ground level surface. As you can see, these are the block references. So. And the blocks from the drawing of the now we select all the points. Now you can see that the surface has been created. Then we will confine the surface to the boundary which is uh, shown uh, by polyline colored red by adding boundary. So our original surface has been created. In the object viewer. Now similarly we will create the excavated ground surface. I do have all the points of the excavated ground level. So we will create the surface. Similarly, provide the boundary. Now I will import all these, uh, both of the surface to the project to quantity file, which is in metric unit. You can see here. OGL surface is imported successfully. Similarly, the OGL surface needs to import. So we can see now the both the services imported. You can see very little difference in the elevation. To calculate the quantity in between, we will use the earthwork plan production command. Now, to use the command, we will go to analyze type and earthwork plan production. Now, the existing surface is shown is OGL surface 1. And the excavated ground level surface. 
the horizontal interval is 20 by 20 meter vertical is 20 meter which is default method by the autocad cell 3d which can be to 5 there are three methods through which we can calculate the quantity by accurate method uh, triangular prism method and cuboidal method we will use the accurate method only now in setting I have set the text height to be 0.23 and volume and dimension is 1.5 now in now you can use the boundary you can uh, specify the boundary for the drawing by clicking on this and then specify the boundary of the jet point star and by just clicking on the ok it works automatically and create a volume volumetric table display the quantity to you. The poor construction can succeed. So you, here you can see the cutting quantity with uh, 6719.3 kilometer actually with 2.2 kilometer uh, you can here you can see the exterior uh, original ground level will be 587 which is shown in the yellow and the excavated ground level excavated ground level will be 587.28 which is shown in yellow and the original ground surface is 588. Difference between them would be 1.3 when it is shown. Uh, Earthwork plan production calculated calculate the quantity by using the square uh, 5 by 5 meter square as an area and the height of these all four and average it off to find out the quantity minus 34.76 cubic meter. All the cubic meter will be added into the individual tab. Uh, in, in these uh, columns and rows and the cumulative would be uh, 6719.3 as I've shown here but uh, most of the cases the quantity would be not accurate at that much so to cross verify this thing we would use the volumetric dashboard uh, same in the analysis volumetric we go to the volumetric dashboard we will add volume where we name it as volume and we will give the base surface to the moving ground surface and compared to the excavated ground surface so here we get 7226.35 quantity cubic meter cutting It varies from 6,719. So most of the it is the it is not the accurate method. Earthwork plan production is not the accurate method. I don't I don't prefer it always, but by the volumetric dashboard you always get the accurate quantity. And you can generate the report out of it. So, thank you.